Hello from Kilo Echo 4 Golf, Juliet Golf. Richard here in London, Kentucky. I'm back with another video. This one here is going to be a how-to video, a portion of it anyway, showing how to get the MM DVM board up and running correctly. Um, I had some trouble at the beginning, but I have some other hobbies that keep me busy, so that's why I've been uh, uh, not on here putting in a video. But anyway, uh, hopefully, if you've been checking it out, you can hear it in the background talking right now. Works great. I got a DRX1 on uh, my MM DVM board. But anyway, without further ado, let's uh, check this thing out and see what all you have to do to get it up and running. Definitely, uh, I got your call sign in here and there's my Arduino board and MMDVM mounted on the top and there is the Raspberry Pi 3 with the uh, no cat 5 connection I'm actually using the uh, wireless connection on board wireless uh, card in the Raspberry Pi 3 and it works great and if you'll notice it's transmitting right now and on the front of the DR one, you see it's a transmitting also. This is this Yazoo System Fusion Repeater. And I'm using a ID5100, uh, is what I'm actually using. And I really, really love this radio. Let me turn it down so you can hear me. This is a very, very sweet radio. Uh, I've not had it too long, a month or two, and this thing is awesome. But anyway, let me, uh, we're connected to one Charlie right now. There's QSO going on. So let's disconnect and we'll go down to unlink and let's key up and you'll see down here in the bottom if it uh, unlinks now it's not linked that was the repeater talking of course or the uh, the repeater software I guess it's in the uh, Raspberry Pi software and if I key up, you'll see it does the unlink thing also. Let me uh, go in and put it in echo mode. Let's echo and see what it sounds like. Remember how to get there. There it is. Kilo Echo 4 Golf Juliet Golf Testing. Kilo Echo 4 Golf Juliet Golf Testing. And if I come down here, you'll see it receive and everything too. KE4GJG testing uh, MMDVM. KE4GJG testing uh, MMDVM. And of course, corresponding on the board, when you key up, you'll see a green light for COS logic. Test 123321. Test 123321. So everything is happy. And there's the software running up there. That's the, uh, the host uh, MMDVM host file is running on your right, right there. And then you got the IRC DDB gateway running on the left. And after you put all your information in there, which is fairly easy, you just go up to the applications up here to the top, go to Digital Ham. And after you go down to Digital Ham, you go down here to the MMDVM.ini. That's your configuration file. That's where you put all your information, uh, your call sign, your location, frequency, stuff like that. And then after you do that, you go back in, go to Digital Ham, and then go down to where it says IRC DDB Gateway Configuration. And you go in there and it'll load up the IRC DDB Gateway software and you just do the same there. You put in your information there, your call sign, and everything corresponds to, uh, to your station. Now on the back of the DR1, you'll see that the 15 pin uh, connector is right there. And I have a loop. And that loop connection, I'll explain where it goes. I'm not, I don't have a cable, a big long cable or nothing on yet. I'm just testing on the test bench here. I don't have it mounted in a rack mount or anything like that yet. I just got it on dummy load and testing. And then uh, after I get all the uh, cases made, I've got a rack mount case I'm going to make for my equipment here to go above my DR1 with another repeater at a nice location I've just acquired. But anyway, uh, let me uh, pull the pin off and everything and 
show you which pin goes where and what wire goes where and, and according to that and I also have it in the description below the video too okay well here's the pin off the back of the uh, DR1 and then there's the uh, it's the pigtail basically that goes to the MM DVM board and here's a kind of a close view of it. I don't know if this camera does any good. It's an action camera. It doesn't uh, focus very well on this kind of stuff. It's off my it's off my quadcopter up there actually is what this camera is off of. I use it on it a lot. But anyway, um, pin one on the uh, on the uh, cable here is going to be let me flip it around. I think it's coming from right or left to right. I'm sorry from left to right Red's going to be uh, one, and it's the carrier squelch. So that'll go to pin number five on the DR1. Number two is going to be blue. The blue wire is the receive audio from the DR1, which is pin number eight. And pin three and pin four are ground, which is green and yellow. They're the ground wires. Well, what I did, since pin... Uh, Pin one on the uh, DR1 is the actual uh, puts it in remote uh, controller mode. I just take the pin one and go to three on here, and then uh, another pin one right over, and I go to pin four on this thing. So you just basically put both of them together. Number five is going to be the white wire, and the white wire is the TX transmit audio, and that'll go to pin seven on the DR1. And then the last one will be the black wire, which is uh, the PTT logic. And that'll go to pin number two on the uh, DR1. And now that loop right there, it it puts it in another uh, another mode also for the DR1. You got to have that. I haven't tested it without it, but it calls for this in the in the description. I'm not for sure what mode that puts it in. It disables something. I can't remember what it is right off. I have to look at my notes. But anyway, that goes to pin uh, 6 and 10. So you come over from 6 over to 10 with that. And that's pretty much it. After you do that, you're pretty much ready to go. And let's see. I think that's about it. Let me plug it back up here. Alright, let's link this thing back up here. Make sure, yeah, I've got it there already. There you go. Makes a nice uh, connection sound. I love that. It's awesome. Works great. I've done a lot of QSOs on it. Made a lot of contacts. And uh, yeah, this thing is pretty cool. MMDVM board in action. It's a uh, pretty neat board. Anyway, it's working great. And so far, I've uh, made, a, like I said, a lot of contacts on this thing. And hope to make a few more after I get it on the hill and get some uh, get some big antennas on it and on a big tall tower and make some nice contacts here locally also so everybody else can enjoy the D Star Network and Bruce uh, Adrian and Lan has been very helpful. They uh, I told Bruce in the beginning they had a few problems and couldn't get it up and running. Thought I had a problem with the the pods. The, there's two adjustments on top of the MMDVM board. They're potentiometers, so they actually adjust the in and out audio levels. I had it working transmitting wise really well. It would actually transmit no problem at all. I could key up and and hear myself no problem on another radio or the echo back. I could actually you know hear it on another radio no problem at all working. I just could not. Uh, could not hear uh, anybody like if I linked up to the one Charlie or, or something like that I couldn't hear it I, there's nothing coming back so I I thought it was my board that I built so I went ahead and ordered another uh, tested uh, MMDVM board that uh, was not the problem so <laughs> uh, my board is actually on there right now my board works great and I tested it and it works great of course too so I've got a spare board that I'm going to use on some other projects here and probably get another one up and running just to have one here at the house after this one goes to the hill. Uh, but other than that, uh, I've been 
very busy and sorry I didn't have another video up uh, sooner uh, just uh, a lot of stuff going on here like locally but yeah this thing's talking like crazy um, but yeah uh, check back soon and check back often um, I'm gonna have a web page up and running pretty soon right now it's just forwarding to my YouTube page and I'll put some schematics maybe some drawings or something like that on there if you need them later on if I get any request or something that uh, somebody wants to see some pictures or something like that up close like I said this action cam doesn't do very good up close pictures uh, but uh, yeah if you need anything or need some help just leave me a comment and don't forget to uh, like and share my video uh, get the hits up there and help me out a little bit too maybe <laughs> Anyway, hope to see you on the web, and uh, hope to see you on uh, D-Star. Contact me. Uh, we'll QSO it up, and uh, I usually try to check into some of the nets and whatnot also. 73s from Kilo Echo 4 Golf, Juliet Golf, here in London, Kentucky.